All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and we're here with Speedy. And Speedy's a kitty cat who uh, we originally thought had uh, feline lower urinary tract disease, FLUTD. He presented because he was having difficulty urinating, wasn't able to empty his bladder, he's a young male cat, and so we suspected that he had a blockage of his urinary tract and we're treating him accordingly. We've been treating him now for weeks, he's been on antibiotics, he's been on steroids, and he's been on a medication to stimulate his bladder contractions. And unfortunately, he's not been responding. Uh, unable to empty his bladder, so every day we have to manually express his bladder to get him to empty. What we noticed in the last couple of days, however, is he no longer, he's anesthetized right now, but we noticed that his tail was hanging limp, and then we also noticed uh, that he has no anal tone. Uh, so everything in the back part here, his tail, his anus, and also his urethra uh, does not seem to be working properly. So I spoke to the owner and I found out that uh, Speedy is in fact an indoor-outdoor cat, not responding to treatment for urinary tract disorder, and I became suspicious that he might have some nerve damage uh, that is making his tail dead, essentially. His tail is starting to die off. You can see here, uh, you know, we shaved it, but you can see here that the tail is starting to die off. And so I discussed with the owner that we do need to amputate the tail today, but when we shaved him, for surgery, we noticed right here at the tip of my finger, he does have a wound right over his spine. And so, uh, unfortunately, like y'all see here, hindsight is 2020. And so, looking back, I'm now very suspicious that at some point, Speedy sustained an injury to his spinal cord that affected the nerve supply not only to his tail, to his rectum, but also to his bladder. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's going to regain, I know he's not going to regain the tail, so we're uh, amputating that. I'm not certain at this point that he will regain um, the ability to empty his bladder normally. That can be problematic. But uh, he's a young cat, he's a great cat, fantastic personality does not like having his bladder expressed, but who would on a daily basis. Uh, but we're gonna give Speedy the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna go ahead and continue to try, keep our fingers crossed that uh, he does regain uh, some feeling in his bladder, the ability to empty his bladder. And even if not, he may live the rest of his life needing to have his bladder expressed on a daily basis. But there are worse things than that, at least he'd still be alive. So uh, we will have updates to follow. Bye now.